Top 10 Contemporary African Authors Hello Displorers, welcome to another informative video presented to you by Displore and thanks for watching. In this video we shall be shining the light on the top 10 contemporary inspirational African writers. In the continent as ethnical and culturally diverse as Africa, it comes as no surprise that the literature that has emerged from it would be equally diverse and multifaceted. Simply calling an author a contemporary post-colonial writer has become increasingly complex and contingent on a range of factors and presumptions. Arguably, any author writing from a country in its post-independence era can, not if we take the title in its literal sense, be termed post-colonial. If we combine this with the term contemporary, which tends to be attributed to any author that wrote post-1945, then these writers will fit right in. Some of these writers are seasoned lectures and experts in their fields. Some are just starting out and others have written great books that have been read in different universities across the world. In this video, we shall strive to determine the reasons for their success and prominence. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Dealing with a range of social and cultural issues, from women's rights and feminism to post-war and post-colonial identity, here are the top 10 contemporary Afghan writers you should know, of course, in no particular order. Number 10. Aminata Fauna Born in Glasgow but raised in Sierra Leone, Aminata Fauna first drew attention for their memoir, The Devil That Danced on the Water, 2003, an extraordinarily brief account of her family's experience living in war-torn Sierra Leone and in particular her father's tragic fate as a political descendant. Fauna has gone on to write several novels, each of them critically acclaimed. Her work on The Memory of Love, 2010, juxtaposes personal stories of love and loss within the wider context of the devastation of the Sierra Leone Civil War and was nominated for the Orange Prize for Fiction. Number 9. Ngugi Wa Thiogo Ngugi Wa is one of Africa's most influential post-colonial writers. He wrote most of his first novels in English, centralizing the theme of most post-colonial identity versus the influence of colonial powers and cultures. Some of his books include Weep Not Child, The River Between, Petals of Blood amongst others. He was in prison for a year without trial for staging a political controversial play. After his release, he began writing in his native Gikyu and Swahili. His language switch was fueled by his idea that the use of African native language is a key method for decolonizing the mindset and also the culture of the African readers and writers. He has won several awards and recognition for its outstanding works including Lotus Prize for Literature and Nonino International Prize for Literature just to mention a few. Number 8. Nadine Godima one of the Apartheid era most prolific writers, Nadine Godima's works powerfully explore social, moral, and racial issues in a South African under Apartheid rule. Despite winning a Nobel Prize in literature for her prodigious skills in portraying a society interwoven with racial tensions, Godima's most famous and controversial works were banned from South Africa for daring to speak out against the oppressive governmental structures of the time. Her novel, Burger's Daughter, follows the struggles of a group of anti apartheid activists and was read in secret by Nelson Mandela during his time on Robben Island. With more than 15 novels to her name and several awards and recognitions, Godima will go down in history as one of the best writers in Africa. Number 7. Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie Chimamanda is one of the leading world-renowned African authors. Her works are typically character-driven and they vividly outline the Nigerian social-political atmosphere. Her novel, Purple Hibiscus, that was released in 2003, talks about lives during the military corps in Nigeria. While Americana, in 2013, is an insightful portrayal of Nigerian immigrant life and racial issues in America and the Western world at large. Adichie works have gotten a lot of praises and numerous awards. She is simply subliminal in her field. We have dedicated a video about Chimamanda on this channel, which you can watch by clicking on the card on your screen. Number 6. Ben Okri Ben Okri's childhood was divided between England and time in his native Nigeria. His young experience greatly informed his future writing. His first highly acclaimed novels, Flowers and Shadows, 1980, and The Landscapes Within, 1981, were reflections on the devastations of the Nigerian Civil War, which Okri himself observed firsthand. His later novels met with equal praise, The Furnished Road, which tells the story of Azaro, a spirit child in a fascinating bend of realism and the pictures of the spirit world and won the Booker Prize. Number 5. Ayi Kwe Arma Ayi Kwe Arma's novels are known for their intense, powerful depictions of political devastation and social frustration in Arma's native Ghana, told from the point of view of the individual. His works were greatly influenced by French existential philosophers 
such as Jean-Paul Sartre and Albert Camus, and as such holds themes of despair, disillusionment, and irrationality. His most famous work, The Beauty for One to Not Yet Born, 1968, centers around an unnamed protagonist who attempts to understand himself and his country in the wake of post-independence. Number 4. Alain Mabanku Originating from the Republic of Congo, Alain Mabanku's works are written primarily in French and are well known for their biting wit, sharp satire and insightful social commentary into both Africa and African immigrants in France. His novels are strikingly character-focused, often featuring a sample cast of figures such as his book Broken Glass, which focuses on the former Congolese teacher and his interactions with the locals in the bar he frequents, or his novels Black Bazaar, which details the experiences of various African immigrants in an Afro-Cuban bar in Paris. Mariama Ba One of Africa's most influential women authors, Mariama Ba is known for a powerful feminist text, which addresses the issues of gender inequality in her native Senegal and wider Africa. Ba herself experienced many of the prejudices facing women. She struggled for an education against her traditional grandparents and was left to look after nine children after divorcing a prominent politician. Her anger and frustration at the patriarchal structures which defined her life spill over into her literature. Her novel So Long a Letter, 1981, depicts simultaneously its protagonist strength and powerlessness with marriage and wider society. Number 2. Nuruddin Farah Nuruddin Farah was born in Somalia. He has numerous plays, novels and short stories, all of which revolve around his experience in his country. His first novel, A Crooked Reap, in 1970, stems from a Somalian proverb, God created women from a crooked reap and anyone who tries to strengthen it breaks it. It is a book that throws light on the suffering of women in the Somalian society. His works have been used by numerous universities across the world and he has been known to be very straightforward in making his point and impact the society. Number 1. Chinua Achebe Born in Nigeria, there can never be a talk of African literature without a Chinua Achebe mention. He is one of the world's most praised writers. He wrote some of the most extraordinary works of the 20th century. His most famous novel, Things Fall Apart, which was written in 1958, is a showcase of the clash between traditional values and the effects of colonial rules as well as the gender tensions in the African society. He is the author of other books like No Longer at Ease, Arrow of God, and The Man of the People, amongst others. He is a seasonal professor who has taught in some of the world-renowned universities around the world, mostly in the US and Nigeria. He has also openly criticized some novels over the years. He has won numerous awards throughout his career. There you have it, explorers. Those were the top 10 contemporary African writers you should know. Thanks for watching this video. If you want us to cover any of the top 10 topics, do well to leave your suggestions in the comments and your requests will be granted. Also, if you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.